Hey everyone, this is Dan. On Saturday, May twenty seventh, two thousand and twenty three, the news came out that President Joe Biden and House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy reached a tentative debt ceiling deal to avert default of the U.S. national debts. It is still pending a vote in the House of Representatives, in which the Republicans have a majority. If the House passes the bill, it should sail through the Senate easily because the Democrats have majority control of the Senate. Does that mean the stock market will shoot up from here? Let's look at what happened to the market during the last three times when the debt ceiling crises were resolved. They happened in 2011, 2013, and 2021. Based on the news developments in those years, the debt ceiling issues were resolved on August 2nd, 2011, October 16th, 2013, and October 7th, 2021. Let's use those three days as the starting points and look at how the S&P Index ETF SPY. Changed after the starting points. The chart here shows in 2021, which is represented by the gray line, that SPY went down about one percent five days after the starting point. That's when an agreement was reached to resolve the debt ceiling. But SPY went up more than three percent ten days later, and went up more than seven percent thirty days later. For 2013. Which is the orange line? SPY also went up more than five percent after thirty days. For two thousand and eleven, which is the blue line, it doesn't look too good. SPY actually went down more than seven percent after thirty days. Why was two thousand and eleven so bad? The main reason was that a major credit rating agency, Standard and Poor's, downgraded the U.S. national debts. From triple A to double A plus, three days after the agreement was reached to lift the debt ceiling, the stock market tanked right after that. If you are interested in what you've seen so far, I'd like to suggest for you to click the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. That'll enable you to receive notification when I post my next video. It'll also encourage me to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much. We have a lot of interesting stuff to cover. Let's continue. In 2013, Dagon Global Credit Rating, which is a state-owned credit rating agency based in China, downgraded U.S. national debts from A to A minus just one day after the debt ceiling crisis was resolved. The downgrade did not negatively impact the stock market in 2013. That's because Dagon is not nearly as influential as S and P. The major credit rating agencies are Standard and Poor's, Fitch, and Moody's. Before a major credit rating agency downgrades the U.S. debts, it usually issues warnings. In 2023, we have heard of the following warnings. On May 24th, Fitch. Put the U.S. on notice for a potential credit downgrade, and on May 25th, DBRS also put the U.S. debts on downgrade notice. In the meanwhile, on a positive note, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen originally said the U.S. was going to run out of money to pay its debts on June 1st if the debt ceiling were not raised, but on Friday, May 26. Secretary Yellen revised the drop debt date from June first to June fifth, considering that the Congress still has a few more days before June fifth to pass the bill to lift the debt ceiling. There is still a very good chance that the U.S. debts will not be downgraded by the major credit rating agencies. If there is no downgrade, the market will behave more like 2013 and 2021. That means the market will go up if there's no credit downgrade in 2023. In light of all these, what are my investment strategies? I've sold some of my long positions on May 16 to lock in profits, expecting some last-minute suspense in a debt ceiling negotiation between the administration and the GOP congressional leaders. I will buy long positions such as SPXL, TQQ, ASML, AMD. 
alphabet as soon as the debt ceiling is lifted. And I might short the market by buying SPXS or SQQQ if the debt ceiling is not lifted by June 5, 2023. And I'll update my Twitter subscribers almost on a daily basis. If I don't hear of any deterioration of the agreement between President Biden and Representative McCarthy in the next few days, I will most likely buy long positions. At this point, I'd like to suggest that you subscribe to my Twitter account in addition to subscribing to my YouTube channel. I update my subscribers almost on a daily basis about important news related to the market. I also inform my Twitter subscribers about some of my trades. Thank you for watching all the way here. I'd like to remind you to click the like, subscribe, and notification button. As usual, I will very much appreciate your comments, questions, and suggestions. I'd like to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my stock trading strategies and analyses for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you want to buy or sell stocks, you should make your own decisions and you should definitely consult with your financial advisors before you do so. This wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments.